Hey, how are you all doing? And I thought I'd just pop on and do a really quick video. So, some interesting developments. Uh, first of all, uh, the report the Premier of New South Wales had done on the involvement of Stuart Ayres in the Barillaro saga has um, exonerated Ayres. And has exonerated Ayres and said that he's innocent. Now, considering that Ayres has stepped down, um, and resigned from his position. The question is, if Perite will reinstate him um, or give him back his position, he's in a bit of a precarious situation here. So that's the first thing. The Melissa Caddick inquest started yesterday. Some interesting developments there too. Oh, can I? All right, thanks. Yeah, we'll get anyway. All right, that's all right. I was happy to walk around. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, how are you? You're not too bad. <laughs> the joys of walking and talking and meeting people. Everyone's friendly here, so. The Melissa Caddick inquest started and uh, they've, they've heard that she had talked about if she was going to disappear, she'd disappear off the cliff or she would disappear and nobody would find her. Um, there's some inconclusive evidence as to whether or not the foot is hers or whether it was cut off or sawn off. So there's lots of questions and the coroner has to try and work out what is true. What is fact, what is fiction? Um, I'm pretty flat out at the moment, hence why I've been really quiet online. I'm endeavouring to get back online soon. Um, I'm working on a couple of voiceover videos just so that there's content for you to watch. Uh, but I don't have my equipment with me. So, you know, it may not be a great standard. Um, so we're in spring and it's overcast today. A little bit chilly but I'm hot because I'm walking um, once I finish here I would have walked I think five five or six k's so I decided that I'd just go for a walk and had to go to the shops so when I got a coffee went and walked to the coffee shop then decided that I'd just keep walking and ended up at Coles and got some stuff and walking back so anyway I just wanted to give you a quick update as to what's going on um also of course we've got uh being part of the commonwealth all the commonwealth all the realms uh have been called to the uk to meet with the king and that's going to be interesting um australia has declared king charles the third as our head of state and all the states have done the same it's really interesting watching all the courts now put you know um, accused versus the king uh, and, and and referring to the king that's gonna take a while to get used to um, the Prime Minister has been adamant that Republican debate at the moment is not relevant we're not going there yet because a, it's too soon, and B, his priority is um, getting our First Nations people uh, included in the Constitution. And once those things have happened, he has said he will then bring about the debate as to whether we're a republic or not. And what people don't realise is that regardless of whether we're a republic or not, we're still part of the Commonwealth. That doesn't change. What changes is our head of state. So Canada, for example, is a republic. Um, there's a few republics um, in the Commonwealth. So it's not the end of the world, just that things are just slightly different. So um, I'm just crossing the road here. You can hear the train, just cross the train line. And 
I'm nearly home. So look, I'll catch you later and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.